squash soup. I haven't baked or cooked very much, but I do cook sometimes. So I'm hoping that I can pull off making soup today because I've been craving butternut squash soup or just like fall, you know, fall things. Like I want, um, I don't like pumpkin spice to be honest because I don't drink coffee, but the smell of it, it just really brings me joy. I'm going to be watching Gilmore Girls while I'm baking it. And Justin's on his way home from work right now. I have this lovely container full of pumpkin -y things. By the way, this is a new kitchen. I used to live at home and then I moved to Toronto and then I was back home, but I was next door uh, living next to my parents. And now Justin and I are living in Guelph. And he's on his way home now from work. He's a teacher. I also work this morning and I'm a breakfast restaurant server. I don't know why I feel like holding this constantly. Anyway. I painted this cup at Crocodoodle. Isn't it cute? It says, I love you on the inside. It's got water because I was drinking water. And then I have to do a big painting for school. Let me go get it. This is due on Tuesday. My idea is to paint people on a subway. Oh, sorry, on a train. Cause I commute, I commute an hour and a half every time. Like, it's a longer commute, but my train rides an hour and a half. And I'm gonna do like a, I'll show you the mock-up I've got so far. Here's what I have planned. Um, and the idea is gonna be people on their phones, on the train. It smells like oil, linseed oil, I love it. The idea is issues of our times. And I've noticed that people are always on their phones when they're on the train, like, just like this. So it's like you look around and it's like, you're on a bus with mindless zombies, you're in a train with mindless zombies, but at the same time, we're all so intricate and we're thinking so many things. We're not zombie-like at all. So I want to put that into like this painting somehow. And that's the issue of our time, is that I never talk to anybody on the train, even though I'm on the train all the time. Justin's home! Yay! I did a million side tasks while trying to get here. Look what else I made. Look, I made these really, I made this bowl and I made these really cute pumpkins. I'm sorry, what the heck? This is not a pumpkin, but I should make pumpkins. I'm gonna have to, I have to look up how to make squash soup. I don't even know how. Okay, it says step one is to take a three pounder butternut squash except i don't even know like i don't know if this is is this three pounds how i should have waited I, but i bought two just in case i don't know what's three pounds how do i know two it's probably three pounds I do a workout where's this three pounds this is lighter this is heavier i think ah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is what he did. Extra squash, my squash. This is my fifth year now. I've actually, I've been in school for so long at this point. I've been doing lots of essay writing for a while now, like the last, honestly, the last full year. All I did was like write essays and like do big assignments. Like I wrote a lot of essays. I was supposed to take the innards out. I was supposed to scoop it before I even chopped it up. Anyways, as I was saying before, is that I just wrote a ton of essays last year, but now I finally 
get to do painting because it's taken me so long to get into the actual courses that I was trying to get into because OCAD has so many people lined up since COVID. I feel like we're like the forgotten year of people and they're making it better for the freshmen now but they're not looking into like making school better for those who started during COVID because I guess in their brains everyone who started in COVID is done. But that's not the case. Pretty much every single person I know that started school during COVID is still there. Art school specifically, because like we were just doing school from our houses, sitting in our rooms, painting alone in the middle of a pandemic. It was quite depressing. Like there were good moments, of course, and there's always pros and cons about working from your home. But taking on online art school was like basically watching a YouTube video. I could have actually watched a YouTube video and it would have been better because it's edited. Anyways, that's enough ranting. I just wish they would do something. Like I know my, my best friend just graduated this year and at the graduation they said, oh, you, you guys all had to go through the struggle of COVID. That's all they got. At the graduation ceremony, they got one mention of the fact that and it's just, I wish they would have more events, like here come to this event where you can meet people who started in COVID or just, I don't know, I just find it really hard to be making friends at school. I also find that since COVID, like people are more shy in class, they don't talk as much. That's what I find. I don't know. This year is probably going to be the best year for me so far. It's already been better and I feel more confident just walking into my classes and just talking to people because I feel like I've been here for so long now and there are now people who are new like before pretty much everyone was just the, the leftovers from COVID but now there's actual freshmen in the university you call them freshmen first year I don't even know but anyway now there's so many new people and it's so funny because they're actually from high school, like they're just out of high school. Whereas before it was like everybody knew, the last three years everyone knew I've met is like older and it's like, oh yeah, I was just waiting until COVID was over so I could actually do online, sorry, school in person. I'm hoping that this butternut squash is uh, ripe enough, like how do I know? This year I started making some friends, like I decided I'm not gonna just sit and just be quiet. Well, I decided this on one specific day. I don't know if this is gonna always happen, but I decided just to be more bold and do some more talking. On the train, I had to go to the washroom and I said to somebody, I said, would you wash this about my stuff? Because usually I'm too scared to even say that. And he said, yeah, yeah. And so he washed my stuff when I went to the washroom. And I know people advise against that because he wanted to steal, but he seemed like a nice guy. He, he seemed like he wasn't gonna let somebody steal my stuff. So anyway, that was good. If I didn't have um, problems with getting anything done, I would totally make pumpkin pie and just so much stuff. It's just, I always get sidetracked. I want to try the thingy where they go like There's like a way, right? Peeled it! I've seen so many hacks on just everything I have no idea how I just stick to my roots <laughs> I'm just sticking it the easy way
The recipe said to put the squash in and then just make it, like just wait till it gets uh, soft. So that's what I'm doing. I've got it on like medium low or medium high, I don't know. The recipe I'm following said to add an apple. Um, it said add two apples, but I don't know how I feel about two apples. Following like three different recipes right now, and the one I was watching on YouTube said add an apple, but then the one that I'm following from online did not say add an apple, but I think an apple would be good, so I'll go ahead and add an apple. It's very fall-esque. Mmm, it smells really good. Justin's currently at the store. He's picking up some veggie broth for me because, as I said, I don't have any. Sure. Oh, you're recording. You the table just now? Just yes, now. I was. One of my closest friends I had there. I'm making soup. It's now 7.34. I started at what time? I started this like a long time ago. I'm pretty sure I can put um, broth in the cupboard, right? I'm gonna put it down here. So somehow, it is now 8 p.m. I started cooking so long ago. So I'm gonna throw the salmon in the oven and the Brussels sprouts and then we're gonna eat soon, I hope. Mmm, look over. guys, I finally, it's freaking 8.21 p.m. I'm about to blend this as soon as it's not too hot to put in my plastic blender. It's really yummy. Finally, the soup is made after hours and hours and hours. <laughs> that took so long. Okay, you try it and then I'll try it. Wait, no, I want to try it at the same time. Here. Okay, wait. Ready? Yeah. Wait. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> The ginger cake is there for sure. Mmm, that's really good. How do you like it? I like it a lot. It's very good. That is good. It's super healthy season. Good. This is our TV room. We decorated that last night. And we're still putting our boxes away. So our desks are a bit messy. What did we do last night? We put up those... Yeah. These things. We kind of... Made it look good. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna watch some Gilmore Girls and Pokemon Go. Pokemon. 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 <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> no, Pokemon, Pokemon Indigo League. League. Pokemon. Sorry, Pokemon Indigo League. <laughs> but I'm gonna take my makeup off first. You know what it is. Even though I look good though. <laughs> what? Is it you know what it is? It's what we watched yesterday. Yeah. We're gonna start with Gilmore Girls though. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'm not gonna paint right now because I'm so. I'm tired after making soup the, for like the entire day. Really? But tomorrow I will paint, don't you worry. And I actually, I have this painting I'm still working on. I'm supposed to give it, it's for my friend's friend. Yeah, and she's paying me for it. Help! 